What is up guys, it is Milbro, and welcome back to the Challenge Master, episode 2. With uh, not much uh, more being said, I'm going to do my wheel spins for the mission and potential reward or penalty. And I will be back uh, after my wheel spins are shown. Alright, so I've spun uh, um, the wheels, and my mission for today's episode is to get two critical kills, which are uh, explosions, if you don't know. And my potential reward is a submachine gun barrel. And failure is uh, no use of 9mm ammo for the next episode. So if I get a 9mm pistol with some ammo, that means I cannot use the 9mm, or if I somehow get an SMG. So, uh, let's uh, get out here and start exploring. Uh, Alright, so we're at the house here, and uh, I realized that uh, after killing a Charlie, got 15 points to spend, so... What I'm thinking is, uh... I think I might go into... Let's see here. Pumpy would be uh, pretty good. So, use that and get a bit more damage out of our club. I did do some crafting overnight, got a level 54 stone axe and level 63 and wooden club and a level 61 bow. I do have some ammo with the bow, thankfully I did not get my arrows. Sometimes I will forget a lot of ammo. Yeah, let's see what's in this uh, little uh, place. A tank top. Do I have another? Okay, I don't have that, so. Scrap that down. Ah, I should have kept the leather boots. Oh, well, that's no big deal. Break into here, see what's in these lockers. I think there might be a toilet in here I can break down for a... Break down for... So, uh, a pipe. We need a couple pipes for the forge. Alright. Got a... Break your water a couple turds. I... I think I might toss the turds out if, uh, I don't need them. A glass jar, that'll be useful. Up in there. Puffer coat, not too bad. I'll keep that for now. Just in case I get cold. A potato. I'm actually going to turn that into a seed. Which is ironic because potatoes are... are... you can just plant them in the ground. They're not... requiring of any seeds. Anything in the fridge. Glass jar. Ooh, early wrench and some coffee beans. Wrench is pretty good if I find a workbench or a chemistry station. Nothing in the oven. Water, definitely need that. Grab this up for uh, leather. Can never have too much leather. Especially if you find leather armor early on. And we'll just bust out of here and I'm gonna go and head uh, up the road north and I'll let you know what I find. As you just seen here, I got some uh, bacon for breakfast, and I also got our first critical uh, of the uh, challenge uh, required, and so we're looking good. Uh, hopefully we can get the other critical uh, before night time. That is uh, my uh, uh, requirements for a successful challenge, uh, preferably before night time, before I log off for the episode. That's when I usually log out, but... Looks like we uh, might be doing pretty good. If I get the uh, second critical kill uh, fairly quickly, then I'll uh, increase that challenge uh, to like 
maybe three or four. That way, like, give me a little bit of uh, more of a challenge. There we go. Got our bacon. So yeah, see, uh, once again, I'll see you if I find anything up the road. Alright, so I went off the beaten path a little bit to uh, hunt down a deer. Uh, where'd he go? There he is, but I actually found a town just up the road, which is really nice. Come here. There you go. That is a... He's finally down after three stone arrows. <laughs> Anyways, I was just going to say he's uh, found a town, which is really good, and it's thankfully not in the burnt biome or wasteland. Which, if you have watched the Hunter series, you would know that has been a problem. So, where where'd that deer go? I lost him. Oh, brother. Get really irritated when my lunch escapes me. Where'd you go? I'm sure one of you, if you watch uh, this part, you're probably gonna say he's right there. How can you not see him? This grass is a little tough sometimes. Really, where is he? Bastard. Oh well, we oh we lost him. So let's just have a look, see through this uh, town here. Also pick up some corn. If anything, if I find a uh, a place that I want to set up in this town, you know, which I really do want to set up here, you know, at least for the time being, I could at least, I could start farming uh, potatoes and, uh, and corn for meat stew. Right, come here, Nancy. You know what, we're just gonna keep him quiet. There you go. There you go. Well, thank you for the vitamins. Scavenging a little up to the four? Looks like we got a road going south. Oh, hi, Annie. <laughs> Shotgun shell and some sham sandwiches. Oh joy. Let's see if I can get a shot on this deer. Nope. Come here, why are you being so kind of stubborn? Oh, got someone coming up behind me. Hey Mikey, how you doing? Have a good morning, buddy. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Unfortunately, nothing on you. Let's just keep exploring here. Looks like a scrapyard. Oh, we got a storefront. What is that? A. Could it be a shotgun messiah? Ooh, is that pop pills? Because it looks like it. See you later, Charlie. I think it is. Anything that will do good for uh, wellness uh, and you know, maybe um, probably find a first aid schematic. Got our Charlie and a Mikey. For the coins and lead, uh, Charlie. Come here, Mikey. Blair Duster. Could be uh, that's pretty good for selling. Got one of the bunker houses. These would be fairly common. Got Marla. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get an outline of the town and and I'm gonna catch up with you uh, once I'm done doing that, so we have a good idea what uh, we're dealing with here. All right, so done a lap of the town, and uh, 
we're looking at a pretty good sized town here. You know, not quite hub city levels, but, you know, did point out the popping pills earlier, and while I was looking around, I did see a couple of the uh, bigger, um, kind of, I call them like the, the rich uh, houses. That got the pool in the back, we got Ostrich Hotel, and on the southeastern corner of the town, we got a, a Shotgun Messiah and a Shamway Foods. I have not gone into the the center of town aside from like the Shamway and the Bunker and POI and but I'd say this is looking really good to uh, set up it's like you know start at least having a a main base It'd be really nice to have and uh, so let's go right in the popping pills though see what's uh, uh, popping in here See if there's any company. Uh, bunny rabbit. Oh, got a sweat. How are we doing? Mainly I want the, uh... Want this for the... What do you call it? The, the old, uh... One for the uh, vitamins. It's like if we get the first aid kit, uh, that is really good. It's like these are generally really good, uh, especially early on, just building up supplies. Hi, Marla. How are we doing? You're not the brass, are you? There you go. Oh, thank you for the water. Um. If I remember correctly, there actually could be a chemistry station here, so like, even though we may not have a... We may not have a... Work just yet. <laughs> hey, we got the chemistry station, which that's a really big find early on. See you later, Annie. See if there's anything in the old cash registers. Some dukes. Paper. Sometimes those filing cabinets can have uh, a schematic or two. I'm really gone. Got a vending machine, so if we ever need drinks, that's good. Okay, start searching pills. Oh yeah, first aid bandages are good too. You also get a lot of polymers out of this. There we go, there's a vitamin. With all these in here, though, it's, we have a very good chance of finding the first aid schematic. Uh, drop that lead for the painkillers. Oh, antibiotics. So, I'm gonna drop the paper. More vitamins. I'm just gonna take all the pills. Uh, we'll take all the vitamins. So. Uh, once I'm done looting. Lots of good stuff in here. More bandages, glass. Oh, first aid kit. That's really good. Mm. Throw the turds out. Grow out the, uh... We want all this stuff. Our first aid kit. That's excellent. Oh, beaker. Uh, what do I want to throw out, though? Scrap you down. Just throw the plastics out. That's not really valuable. Not used for much in the game. More antibiotics. Blood bag and bottle. Uh, I'll just leave that in there. Like I said, you can get a lot of vitamins out of this. Also get regular bandages, uh, which are good for making first aid kits. Yeah, if you want a first, if you want to make a first aid kit and you have the schematic, you have to have regular bandage, a blood bag. I'll just leave that bandage in there. Duct tape, uh, and I think that's about it. Oh, grain alcohol. You also need grain alcohol. Like I said, we'll just leave the uh, spare bandages in there. 
We should be set on antibiotics in case dog rolls in. Ooh, blood draw kit. I'm gonna leave that in there for now, but that is such a good find. Beer's also really good. Uh, don't really need animal fat. 23 bucks. Scavenging level 6. Ooh! Magnum Enforcer. So we've already unlocked the ability to craft a 44 Magnum early on. That's really nice. Um, have I looted just about everything in here? Yes, yes I have. I will leave the shopping basket there. More coffee beans. Cloth, that would be good for making uh, bandages for first aid kits. Break this toilet down for the other pipe I need. There we go. And we'll just eat that. We'll come back for all this stuff later, so don't you guys worry. There. A feather. Um. It's better to break through the uh, door here. Even with the... Um, uh, wood reinforcements. You basically be beaten through the same amount of HP as one of these blocks next to me, which is, I think, 500 HP. Let's see. Get a sneak peek of it. Oh, let me see. Can I repair this? No. Oh crap, I gotta go get a, a stone. Let's see. Um, throw that out for a second. Hang on. I apologize for this, guys. I'll, I'll grab a, what I need for a stone axe, and... And I'll uh, catch up with you guys just in just a minute. And we are through, and just like I said, there is a chemistry station here. It's fully functioning. Which is really nice. It allows us to craft glue and antibiotics, all this stuff cheaper. Which is really nice. So, I don't have any inventory space, so I'm just gonna leave it here for the time being. Our Shrier iron pipe. I'll leave that moly bread there. I view this as, uh, you know, early game, everything is handy. Uh, so, you know, don't try not to scrap too much down unless it's like iron or lead or brass, you know. A lot of stuff can be useful, and you never know when you're going to need it. Breaking in here because I want to get into the the other pill cases. Let's see here. Another bandage. Another bandage. A splint. First aid bandage. Oh, we got a full stack of those. Search you up. More first aid bandages. Another first aid kit, so we're looking pretty good on healing. Got seven vitamins. A little tip for you guys if you don't know, you can spam the... You can just literally go and spam uh, uh, vitamins uh, on your hotbar faster. Same goes for drinks. Now let's just explore this a little bit more. Is that what I think it is? Please tell me, is that a crack of book? Holy crap! So we got a prison, working sift tools, and a crack of book. So, literally, this town is like perfect for starting out because 
you got plenty of loot, you got the working stuff tools, and you got the cracker book. So, like, you can get a few schematics, and you got some of these fancy houses with gun safes and everything. Wow. This is just even really good. There's the Amigon. Uh, got one of these places. Uh, I have no clue what that is. Yeah, this is just an excellent place to hang out and definitely a great place to set up shop. The question is, which place to choose? Um, come here, big piggy. Crap. Well, I got some extra stone arrows. Just a reminder that I do need one. Look at the devil! Well, that completes her mission. Oh, collect a reward on the nighttime. So, which is. That's really good. Mission success. Got Mikey rolling on up. Of course, another explosion. Got Psycho Steve in the leg. Hi, Penny. There you go. Got Marla. Psycho Steve, calm down. I'm gonna be down. Oh, I got infected. Thankfully, I created Papa Bills, so we got pull. You know, we got several things of antibiotics. Oh, and just to come back for round two. There you go, sweetie. You want some too? Ow! Nope, 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 nope. Penny. So stubborn. Sham sandwiches and some water, I'll take it. Hmm. Where do I want to uh, take up residence? You know what? This looks like a good place. Is any. Got old Bob rolling up on me here. Go, Bob. Hey. Enjoy. Come here, Merlin. I do have the zombie set on 100% uh, spawn. Or medium. There you go, Merlin. I uh, just got the whole town. I uh, wanted to say hello. Got the sweat and their penny. Come here, penny. Ow. Learn your lesson, penny. Uh, Got another skill point. I did invoice for the vest and two, some sexy T Rex. Let's do level two of that. Two sweats. Come on, quit being so <laughs> stubborn. There you go. Uh, bulk casings. Once I kill this uh, sweat here, which should be any time soon, come on you. Come on. Ow. Damn you, you sprained my leg. Thank goodness for that pop pills. Come on. You were so sorry. Finally. Coffee beans. Break our way through here. We'll make this our base. Uh, the cemetery was only going to be uh, temporary. Maybe we could make a horde base over there. Who knows? But let's just get uh, settled in here. Break this up. We got the Charlie in the corner. Climb up the ladder and. So yeah, I'm gonna break in here, get, uh, 
couple, uh, a couple chests uh, sorted out, and I'm gonna run over and grab some stuff uh, and bring it over. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. So I'm on my way back with my inventory of stuff here, you know, going back to uh, what is gonna be our contemporary little base, and I actually just wound up uh, coming across a uh, radio station, so that's really cool. Got to come back here sometime and explore it, but just wanted to update you guys on that a little bit and catch up with you guys once I'm back in the house. Alright, so I'm back at the house here. It's nighttime now. I did do a little bit of stone collecting, but not too much. So, yeah, before we go, I did pick up my old campfire. I know I could have just crafted one for some stone, but hey, why not just pick it up if I have the uh, wrench with me. I'll put our bed down. Home sweet home. And we're gonna put in both of our stuff here. I didn't get the stone or clay required for the forge, so... But, uh, we did get the short iron pipes, we do have the leather, which is really nice, so... And before I forget, because I am pretty thirsty, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some bottled water, and I'm gonna make some goldenrod tea. It's like, you don't need a fancy farm or anything for... Cause, you know, just literally pick up some goldenrod tea and... and start cooking a little bit, you know. Get your get yourself some kind of old-fashioned how long it's going early on. Um, pick up some, some raw meat. Make myself some bacon eggs. And something uh, if I had extra excess boiled water, I would just take a. a all water and I would make cornbread out of it. You, know, you take like, corn, go to your recipes, go to cornmeal, you craft that up and then you can just combine that with bottled water to you know, make cornbread, which is actually really good for getting your wellness up early on. Have another <laughs> a tea. Yeah, that's a little tip for those who might be new to console version of watching this. So. Yeah, let's uh, raid these uh, bookshelves here real quick. And nothing there. And just paper. I was hoping maybe find a couple schematics, but it's no big deal. Do you have a uh, company? But yeah, I'm just gonna wait out the night and maybe do a little bit of crafting, but just uh, hold out till morning, so. And thank you guys for uh, watching this episode if you made it this far. And I uh, hope you uh, <laughs> like and comment and maybe subscribe down below. Have a great day.